Now, if I said to you Mizuno, you would definitely go, well, they make unbelievable irons. You would definitely glance over these woods. Now, this year Mizuno made an ST230 Max driver, and they've gone and complemented that with, if I take these off here, their fairway wood range. So we've got the ST Max ST230, and you can get these in a three wood, a five wood, and a seven wood. Now, if you're playing a regular three wood right now in Mizuno, let me know. If you're playing regular three woods, you're gonna wanna know what's the difference in these Max models, and are they worth buying? Now, straight away, it looks like somebody has just stood on them and made them a lot wider and a lot bigger. But let's dive into the tech. This is something I'm really intrigued by because every single one of the brands this year has really been diving into their Max models and producing something which, on paper, is a lot more forgiving. Now, have a look how deep that face is. It's sort of quite a deep face in terms of the distance between top and bottom here. And I'm gonna place this down at the ball, and the first thing that stuck out to me was when I'm placing that down, it's almost like the back is stretched a little bit. Now, technology in here to start with, and it's the same in the three wood, the five wood, and the seven wood, it sort of has a toe composite. And all you gotta know, what that does for you as a club golfer, as a golfer, is it gives the club a little bit more resistance to twisting. So off center hits, these clubs will twist, all clubs do, and that toe composite reduces that. Now, one thing that I really do like the look of, and I'm a very big fan of glossy tops to clubs. And you can see that here, you've got a glossy black into sort of this carbon area on the back. Now I said this about the driver, it's almost like over, under a film, isn't it? It's almost like the carbon, this bit here, is like under a film, it's like got a screen behind it. But definitely for me, looks a big head for a three wood. Well, that's what you expect, right? We've got a max model here. So let's see what it flies like, let's see what it plays like, let's see what the ball speed is and that overall distance. Now I am dying to hit these. I've got the three wood here, but I'm also gonna test the seven wood because I actually believe a lot of golfers should be popping one of those in their bag. Okay, so here we go, three woods away. That was absolutely ripped. I actually thought it was gonna go a lot higher than that. This has got some serious distance on this. We have, have to have a look at this, come on, let's have a look. 240 carry, 151 ball speed, 257 total, three four spin. I thought it would be a lot higher than this. And max models usually get climbing for me, sort of go up earlier. Now, after hitting that first one, you can see these clubs as part of the tech, they do have a slight right to left bias and there's a little bit of offset in there. But again, the market of who are gonna buy these, if you're a golfer who struggles with fairway woods, struggles to get the ball in the air, struggles with that right shot, that sort of almost offset is gonna have the toe sort of in of the heel, which helps you close that face a little bit. Right, let's hit a few more here. Let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. I'm really, like, usually offset like this is not something I'd like the look of, but it's nice. Oh, that was hit so badly. But interestingly, it's gone absolutely bogus straight. Have a look at this though. I honestly hit that, for being honest with you, around about there, a bad hit. Didn't finish far off middle, 220 carry. Now, as much as I wanna stand here and just hit them good and show you how far they go, this is almost a more important shot because that's what we wanna know. What do they fly like on bad hits? And that was this shot here. So yeah, this is the center. We're talking probably five, 10 yards off the center a little bit down the right. It's not gonna harm you, is it? Now, let me grab the seven wood here and let's talk through a bit of the tech that changes from this models, the Max models, to what you would see in just the ST230. On this three wood and the seven wood, you can see this blue area. They call this the core tech chamber. Now on all of the Max models, this extends to right where the sort of shaft area meets the head. So essentially, it's a lot bigger. Now on the ST just 230, it let's say it's around about that size. So you can see here, it's a lot bigger and it extends all across the back of this club. Let me also hold it this way and we'll show you some images of the previous models. Can you see the sort of raised lip? 
Now this helps with turf interaction. Sort of see how it's flat, then raised up a little there. I mean, very subtle, very, very subtle. But Mizuno say this helps with turf interaction. So when you're playing out of fairways, you're playing out of rough, maybe using it on a tee, it sort of helps that feel of the club through the turf. Okay, so some of the aesthetics that I really, really like here is this sort of carbon little lip you can see. Mizuno logo, this area where we've got the weight, where it sort of flashes out a little bit. I, I wasn't sure about the blue to begin with, but I like that blue. You can see it here just pops off that black and it's sort of mirrored on the top. Okay, I wanna hit a few more of the three wood and then you're dying to know what the seven wood goes like. I'm interested because I think a lot of golfers, I always say this to people that I teach, you've got to be looking at a seven wood. <laughs> That's long. So both shots there roughly went the same distance. Around 224 carry, 238 total, and for a three wood, it's sort of exactly what I would expect. Now, I did feel that they were sort of climbing a little bit more than the first few that I hit, and that's what you'd expect. This club is designed to get up in the air easier. Now, the offset is quite present, and it isn't, I just guess, it isn't, okay, something horrible, but it is very noticeable. Right, I wanna hit a few away now with the seven wood, because as I say, You've got to be looking at one of these. Every one of these models has that multi-thickness face. And that's something that you see in all brands this year. So essentially the back of it is sort of a bit bobbled out, in and out. So off-center hits aren't as punished. Now have a look at this. I'm excited to hit this purely because, come and look at the head differences there. Look, I mean, I've got the seven wood on the right and then the three wood on the left. And imagine the five wood would just sit in there. It's like a mini version of it, isn't it? All technology is the same with all Max models, as I say. Just obviously we've got the difference in the loft here. And also, as well as a loft, have a look at the shaft here. Now this is standard. Look at the difference in length. See how much shorter the seven wood is to the three wood. Obviously that's what you'd expect. But when I've tried these in the past, they almost feel a little bit like cheating. And I don't know, I'm interested to see how far this one goes because I think it's gonna be one that a lot of people out of rough, uh, maybe on long par threes, it's something that you're gonna to go to because you're getting all that technology of a, a bigger head, bigger cortex chamber, weight back, all these things are gonna help you be a little bit more consistent, a little bit more forgiving, and something that's gonna give you some more confidence. Right, here we go. <laughs> Got that turning over beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Come on, let's have a look at this distance here. This has surprised me. Like, it's finished around about what the three would carry, so that's what we'd expect. 221 carry, 235 distance, 46 spin, launched around 12 degrees, and right at the top there, you can see that ball speed, 147. Now, I don't know, I need you to help me with this. I don't know if it's because it's got more loft, but the offset on the seven wood looks a lot more present. Really, you can see it sort of cutting in there a lot more on this club. Other things that I actually like down at address, and I've just thought about this, the more I've hit it, is a sort of slight subtle gray, lighter gray to the dark gray on this face. It's nice and subtle, it's in there, but it's not in your face. Now it's important to know every single one of these models have four degrees of adjustability, so you can loft it up for, down for, and that's something you can do in the seven wood, the five wood, and the three wood. Now, let's think what you want from this club. You want it to go high, you want it to land soft. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to replace those longer irons or even maybe a hybrid at that sort of 20, sort of 21 degree range. Let's see what this one flies like. Definitely climbing, definitely going higher. It's gonna land soft that one, 100%. Around that 220 range again, pretty much a carbon copy. I think a lot of people are gonna look at this and think, very forgiving, just purely because you can see the loft on that club. It's not something I think a low handicap is gonna enjoy, but it's not what it's designed for, right? <laughs> Saying that, I mean, probably it's it better than I do before, Ryan. Have <laughs> a look at this one. <laughs> Here we go. 218 carry, 230 total, 146 ball speed, launch around that 12 degrees, very, very consistent. A few of them were a little bit low in the face. A few of them were a little bit towards the heel because that's what I do on a bad shot. But that is the full review of the ST230 Max products from Mizuno this year. Strong, but the fair question is, 
do enough people know about them? 